Hola amigos, I'm back and this is Heat 1 of the Newcastle Special Race Event, the Nicole Franks and the Rod Franks uh, Memorial Event. So Heat 1, we've got 15 laps and she is a wet and cold one. Uh, expected to be wet and cold for Heat 1 and 2 which was on Saturday and Heat 3 and Finals on the Sunday and that was going to be bone dry. Coming into Heat 1 and 2, uh, both being wet, my ideal goal and plan was to at least come in the top 3 or at worst top 5. That way it would give me a good, at least a good setup for, for the Saturday Heat 3 and Finals because I already know I'm faster than everyone in, in this field at the moment. Uh, looking at the people who entered this race, I, I knew I was faster than all these people. Um, but the person who did surprise me was number five. He's actually, he hasn't raced in 20 years. He was, he was racing with Nicole Franks. I think he told me he was racing with Nicole Franks or uh, he was racing when Nicole Franks was racing, but He's only literally come back just to do this event. He's borrowed Nathan from Cartworks. He's borrowed his cart, and it shocked me on how how amazing he was. So I was I was really nervous coming into this heat. You can't quite hear it, but my engine is playing up right now. So it's acting like it's flooding. It's, it's done it before. It did it with, see here? I was probably talking a little bit too much, but there it was struggling to get up that, that hill or struggling to accelerate. It's done it before with the X30 engine that I had when I first started. Um, it, would, it would sound like it's chuggling. See, there it is, yep. It's struggling. Come on, baby. It's struggling. It's out. It's gone. So it cut out. And I thought, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm out of the race. But with, with instinct, like with literally driver instinct, I was like, I'll just turn it off and start it back. Like, start it up again. I won't get... And see, it's still struggling here. And my dad, the mechanic, and my teammate Paul, he's, I saw them on the sideline and they're like ushering me, like they're like, they're putting their hands out saying go, go, go. And I had my, I had my throttle down, I was like it's, it's not going, it's, it's, it's flooded, it's gone. But then it got a little bit of a kick and I'm just, I'm gunning it trying to get back into my position. Which I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to do and I've done it and they didn't pull me up on it so very lucky, very lucky there. It didn't do it again, so amazing. This time we've started on lap 1 of 15. And of course behind 24, we're just looking to, we're just looking to stay here, we're, we're happy in this position. I don't want to make any moves, I don't want to I don't want to overblock and, and spin. If someone passes me, I'm letting them go. I don't want any accidents. Um, apologies about the the rain bubbles again. They're going to cause issues throughout the the video. There's a few moments where you can't quite see too much, um, but bear with it. It's it's a pretty intense race. The whole whole race through. So 24 got past 81. Uh, I'm, I'm not looking to, to battle, I'm just, I'm just there to race. If I see any mistake, I'll take it. But at the moment, number five, he's, he's pulling away. He's, he's, yeah, amazing. Like, you just surprised me. So we got past lap one. Uh, usually there's a big kerfuffle, there's a big spin-off and everything. But because we're kind of up the front, we didn't have to deal with any of that drama in the mid of the mid of the pack or or rear the rear of the pack. So we're just looking to stay on the track. We're looking to stay on the track. 
Um, we do know in the dry we are much faster than 81, but it seems like he's got some pace in the wet. Um, so I'm not, like I said, I'm not looking to to challenge anyone. Like I'm not. Oh, that was actually number five. You couldn't quite see it, but that was him actually pulling off to the side. So he was in first place. Something happened with his engine. I think something came loose. He just pulled off to the side. He didn't want to make. Uh, he didn't want to ideally make a, a very expensive weekend so we're in third looking even better um, so yeah we know we're faster than 81 in the dry way faster uh, but in the wet looks like he's got some he's got some pace uh, and like I was about to say I, I'm not looking to to challenge anyone because I know I'm faster I just want to stay on the track and I just want to get through <laughs> Heat one and two, so I can then challenge and show everyone up in heat three and final. So, as you can see, or well, as I said before, like you can see right now, there's rain bubbles. They, they do clear. Um, you just have to bear with it. Um, yeah, not not too much happening at the moment. We can see that 81's a bit slippy slidey, but he's still got the pace. He's taken different lines than me. Um, we were struggling, uh, we actually weren't struggling with grip, we were we, we were really, like, the cart feels great on grip, the front ends, there's no understeer at all, uh, the rear, it's it's not re it's not really sliding at all, It's it's got good grip, but we found out at the end of heat one, that we had less tread, like, significantly a lot less tread than what everyone else had. Uh, we only know that because we only know that because um, heat two lining up on the on the grid. Um, we're just looking at everyone's, at everyone's tires, and everyone had a good two millimeters on us in tread. So. Uh, there's definitely something that we can do to fix that setup up, but I mean, look at us. This is the second race in, in the wet that I've done in 15 years, and the first race was last year, and I was at, I was dead last. I was dead last in the field, struggling for grip, struggling for pace. Like I could, I couldn't put down the throttle at all to to get anywhere. And look at us now. Like Dad, the mechanic, set the card up. Um, I, I I assisted in in setting the card up. Paul, my teammate, he uh, he helped with ideas and he helped with the the card look and everything. So we've we've gone from dead last to third in the wet, and they're not pulling away. Like 81's not pulling away guy out in front 24 he's he's barely pulling away and I, I, I think 81's only new as well I think he was on P's last year but 24 I'm pretty sure he's been racing for X amount of years so it's just it's amazing how much you can learn from run, one race and how much you can adapt I, I've, I, I feel like there's a bit of a setup a bit of a change in the setup that we can do to lessen our tire wear in the rear, but I mean, amazing, amazing improvement, um, amazing work with the with the mechanic and everything. And like we're, we're challenging for second. Like we're not challenging, but we're we're still in the fight for second, and we are faster than 81 in certain areas. Because uh, we, we are slowly catching back up. I'm not I'm not overly pushing. Oh. <laughs> that was close. I wasn't I wasn't stopping that either. Oh uh, yeah, that was extremely close. <laughs> no way I was uh no way I was gonna stop then. But that that just shows that different lines shows different pace. Yeah, just 
sh it shows a lot. I mean, our lines are, are near near the same. There's just certain areas where I found found more grip and, and more more pace. Okay, we've, ca we've caught back up again. Like, ideally, we're just like I said before, we're just looking for a mistake. I, I don't want to put like. I could probably put it up the middle, up, up the inside there. Uh, why, why risk that? I know 81 is a relatively good driver, so he'll understand that if I put it up on the inside, uh, there's a bit of a mistake there by him. He, he's, he didn't want to challenge that. He probably could have challenged it and stayed on the inside here. Um, but 80, 81, he, he knows. He knows when to, to challenge and when to defend. I had a bit of a spin off there. When to defend or when to attack for the position. So him giving me that position was ideally the best for him because he was still beside me coming into that second left-hander. Uh, there's not much grip in the wet coming out of that second left-hander. So. I would have probably gone too far to the right, and he would have had no, no, uh, no track to to go on. So I'll, I'll explain it here. So he's, I don't know if he's broken too late, but he just missed the the apex, the grip here. He's come out a bit too wide. So th I would have I would have pushed him off here because there's just no grip there. The car would have just gone straight when I want to turn. So he he did make a good. Um, a good move or he, he did do the right thing there otherwise his race would have been worse than what it, what it, what it is now so I'm in second like amazing like uh, abs I was never expecting to be second I was coming into this heat I was like I'm going to be fifth I'm okay with that maybe sixth I'm still okay with that in second and 24 first place he's not pulling away like he's probably he's probably just taking it easy because he knows he's in front and uh, he tends to turn his head a lot so he's probably looking behind to see where I am so he probably knows where I am he probably knows how much gap he has he's probably not pushing um, as hard as what I should be because he knows he's in front he knows he doesn't have to do any work but still uh, I, I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to undermine my work here and just say that he's slacking off because he's in first. Like he's still going to work hard if he makes a mistake. I I feel if you slack off, like if you ease up to uh, conserve your tyres and, and tyre management, I find slacking off or easing up in a race makes you more vulnerable because you make more I, I feel with me I make more mistakes um, I feel when I'm pushing uh, when I'm more focused I'm making less mistakes uh, I'm more on point um, so even with me saying that he's probably easing up a bit because he's in first he's got space he doesn't have to push he's probably still really focused and he's, he's still really trying because he doesn't want to lose this oh, little bit of a spin there. Let me pass. Thank you. Um, he, he still knows that if he makes a mistake, I'm close enough to take that position for first. At least he, sh he should know. Uh, but, yeah, I don't think... He's, he's definitely not pushing uh, to, to, to lengthen the lead. He doesn't have to do that. If he is pushing, then... Yeah, there's there's something to say about that but I yeah, I honestly don't think he's pushing he's just he's just cruising and still focused I'm not pushing too much either I know that if I push too hard that's when mistakes happen uh, I know I'm not going to catch him it's it's way past that point um, this guy did slow me up a little bit but I didn't want to force a, a pass there he went wide I was able to take that um, he didn't slow me up too much and and that didn't bother me either if he slowed me up because 
I'm too far from far away from first to to really gun that down. And, uh, I don't think third was. I think third was still pretty close to me, but he wasn't close enough to to fight for the position of second. So at the moment, I'm in a comfortable spot. I'm happy with second. Uh, I don't want to push any more than what I what I need to. Race is almost over. Had a bit of a slide there. I just got in between those two tars, uh, the new tar and old tar, so messed me up a little bit. But that bump there is just—it's so bad. That bump messed me up a lot in in the heats, especially heat three. Like you'll 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 see it when it when the video comes up. I was struggling on that corner there for that was my main corner that I was struggling for not so much grip but more traction. Um, the tires tend to have overspun. I, that was probably just my throttle control, but that was literally the only corner that I was I was struggling on. Uh, heat two, I kind of worked out a bit, uh, but yeah. That right-hander before the ski jump messed me up so much because of that one bump, and because I, I I haven't I haven't practiced in four weeks before this race, that tar that new surface hadn't properly been. I don't know what happened to 66 there. I didn't I didn't do anything. He just went straight. I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I hadn't tried out the new the new tar after it got properly fixed or properly surfaced like I tried it when they were halfway through surfacing and then four weeks later they fixed it up I, I'm, I wasn't able to get to the track I haven't practiced I hadn't practiced for four weeks I uh, like there's, there's setups I want to practice there's um, different equipments on the cart that I want to practice I, I just I can't I won't be able to practice again for for next um, not the last lap here by the way but yeah ne next race is, is round two of the championship and I can't practice from from now onwards like I it's it's very frustrating and, uh, just transportation issues that are trying to get fixed up and it puts me so far behind because we could have been way more prepared for this weekend uh, the only thing I could do was clean, fix, or not fix, but clean, maintain, and keep updated on my cart at home. Like that's that's the only thing I could do. I, I couldn't couldn't go to the track and fix up my lines or fix up my braking um, like areas. Like I couldn't like four weeks without being on the track. You, you get you get a little rusted, rusty, not rusted, but you get a little rusty. Like you you get twitchy. You, you don't keep your. Um, your reflexes or your your movements in the, in the steering wheel, but anyway, heat one, second place, amazing. I maps, yeah, I was absolutely happy with that. Like it's heat one, and I was already, I already had my hand up, like, yeah, buddy, <laughs> good time. I was, yeah, I was over the moon by that. And still to see first place in eyesight like I remember I was getting lapped I almost got lapped twice in my last my first race in the wet yeah I wanted to say this at the start of the video but I just forgot um, it doesn't yeah it's not really too important but liking and subscribing it, it does mean a lot to me it makes me feel like people are interested in my videos it's not too important because that's not why I do these these videos but yeah if you do like it just yeah give me a thumbs up and, and please subscribe comment if you want to as well i would be much appreciated but heat 2 will be up in a week and yeah hopefully we'll see you back then peace